Family, what's going on? What's going on? I have the opportunity to attend two conferences just this past week. And what I wanted to hit on for you all today, sometimes we might be in a spot to where we go to conferences and we don't know how to benefit from them. We don't know how to really take true advantage of connecting with people in front of us. We might be an introvert. We might be uncertain. We might be fearful. We might not have our elevator pitch together, whatever it might be. So today in this episode of the Your Podcast Mentor Show, I'm going to dive in and I'm going to give you just three major keys that you should do to help you be prepared for any conference that you attend. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the episode and I'll see you in a minute. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? Family, family, family. Man, what's going on? It's the Your Podcast Mentor Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. I'm your podcast mentor. And just like I was saying, like I said the past couple of episodes, right? I have the opportunity to go speak at two podcast conferences, one being PodFest in Orlando, the second one being uh, the Black Podcast Festival in Atlanta. And you all, there, there's one thing that I could not, um, there, there's one thing that can't be challenged, okay? And that one thing is the experience that you get when you attend an in-person event, all right? An in-person event changes the game because you get to see people that you've been connected with online. You get the opportunity to sit in sessions and feel the energy of the room and everything like that. So if you have not had the opportunity to attend a conference, but you want to in the near future, I would encourage you to make the proper preparations, okay? So begin to put a little bit money back. Maybe don't go to Starbucks one day less a week so that you can put some money up and put it to the side so you can you know, go to your conference that you wanna to go to. Because when you're in the space of a conference, it begins to expand your mind, it begins to challenge your thought process, but even taking it a step further than that, being in the midst of a conference, you're around people who are similar minded. So if you're at like a level two or a three out of a 10, you're going to meet somebody who's at like a seven or an eight and they're going to challenge you to level up, right? So there's going to be some people who are further along in the journey, some people who might be uh, not as experienced as you. So these are things you want to keep in mind as we attend conferences, understanding that conferences is a place to where we might not be the smartest one in the room, but that's okay because you're in the room and you can learn from the smartest person in the room. Okay, you got it. Okay, excellent, excellent. Real quick housekeeping. I just want to let you all know. Uh, I feel like I've said it a few times, but I want to let you know that you can get a free copy of my book right here. Get paid with podcasting. You can get a completely free copy, and I walk you through how to start a podcast, how to manage a podcast, how to monetize a podcast. So my speakers, my coaches, my consultants out there, you want to get right here and get this free copy, I just ask you to help me with the shipping, all right? You can get your free copy, but so go ahead. We're going to have the link down in the show notes, www.getpaidwithpodcasting.com forward slash book. We're going to have the number down in the show notes, the link down in the show notes. But y'all, okay, so the first thing that we want to do to make sure that we maximize each and every conference, the first thing we want to do is we want to have an elevator pitch. You gotta have an elevator pitch. If you don't have a product, it's okay. If you don't have a podcast, it's okay. But having an elevator pitch allows you the opportunity to convey to someone what you do. And therefore, by you being able to convey what you do and who you do it for, now, now you're letting that person know and they may need your service. They may want to do business with you. But if you don't have an elevator pitch, you cannot let them know what you do. And this is why I say that. I had the opportunity to meet 
um, a young lady who was on the stage at Podfest. She's a highly notori no, she's highly notable as a speaker. And I approached her after, the, uh, after she spoke. And she was like, tell me, what do you do? And I said, well, my name is Jonathan Jones. I help speakers, coaches, and consultants start podcasts and then ultimately monetize those podcasts through paid speaking engagements. She said, oh, get his number. Because we have a group of 12,000 students and a lot of them want to start podcasts. So get his information and then we're going to follow up with him. That connection right there could be really, really, really lucrative and really beneficial. But the biggest thing I took from that was I'm glad I have my elevator pitch. But the second thing was if she has a group of that size and she's looking to bring me in to potentially speak to that group, Come on with it. You know what I'm saying? Come on with it. So first thing is we have to have an elevator pitch because we want to be able to connect with people. And then after we connect with people, we want to be able to make sure that they leave knowing what we do. And then when they leave, they know how we can benefit their business. All right. That's the first thing. The second thing is you want to have some way to simplify exchanging card information. John, what are you talking about? Well, what I'm talking about is I look over to the to the right hand side. So meeting a lot of people, I got a lot of business cards. OK, a lot of business cards met a lot of cool people. But the biggest thing I want to highlight is this. The people who had a barcode on their card, they made it so much easier for me to be able to scan it and get in contact with them. I didn't even have a barcode. That's why I was like, no, let me get your number. Let me get your information. But the people who had the barcode, I could just scan it and I'd go to their website. I could scan it and then I'd go to their product site, their landing page, whatever it is. So you want to make it as easy as possible to exchange information because people are moving and time really is of the utmost importance okay so we want to make sure that we get a barcode when I spoke when I presented I put my barcode up so that people could scan it and then they can get their free copy of my book which you all can do too I'm put the barcode on the screen if you're on YouTube to where you can watch the video you can scan it and then you can get access to my to my book but the biggest thing is you want to simplify the process you want to save time but then the last thing is, and you can't forget this one, please, please, please do not forget this one. I've heard it said many times before, the fortune is in the follow up. The fortune is in the follow up. If you don't take the time to after you collect all these cards and after you meet all these cool people, and if you never take the time to follow up with people, you will be missing out on so much opportunity John, how do you know that? Because for me, there is a lot of speaking engagements that I never would have gotten if I never followed up. You want something from the other people. It could be a relationship. It could be potentially to get paid. It could be to sell your product or service. It don't matter. But if you're in that position, you have to be hungry and you have to make sure that you follow up with them. All right. You follow up with them. So if you got a bunch of cards, you need to be sending some emails, all right? You got a bunch of cards, you need to be calling some people. You got a bunch of cards, you need to be sliding somebody's DMs. You heard me. Because if you're at a spot to where you don't feel like you have the level of notoriety that you need and desire, you need to help build the awareness. By doing what, John? Boom. Going to the elevator pitch, right? Making sure that we have that. Getting to the second spot to where we simplify the process of being able to connect with others. And then the third thing is following up after you've connected with those others. All right, family, uh, this is your podcast mentor show. And you all know you can submit your questions to me. You can send in questions and then I have no problem answering your questions. But you have to submit them. All right. You have to submit them. So what, what am I saying? Go to yourpodcastmentorshow.com and then just scroll down on the right-hand side. There's going to be a microphone. You can submit your question and potentially be featured 
I'll read your question off on the show and I'll answer your question live or you can send in a review. We love, love, love for you to review whatever platform that you're listening on. If it be Spotify, if it be Apple, wherever. All right. We would love for you to leave us a, a, a ranking on Spotify. You can write us out a review on Apple. We'll post you. We'll shout you out. But this is your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. And you all know this is the space where we help you establish your platform so that you can profit with purpose from your podcast. All right. Y'all, don't forget, you can get your free copy of Get Paid with Podcasting right here. I will ship it to you, physical book. I just ask you to help me with the shipping. We got the link uh, just down below. It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Till next time, peace and God bless.